something that my sister told me when I was very young was, don't listen to music with your ears, listen to music with your soul. Welcome to the Fallout Shelter. The audience, they'll just look at me and they'll go, it happened again. It happens here every night. It's an immersive experience. Bill Hurley is the founder of the extended play sessions at the Fallout Shelter, an off the beaten path club in Norwood that doubles as a soundstage and recording studio. Everyone who comes here understands that they're coming here to watch the production of a live streamed television broadcast. We shoot with five cameras, we record multi-track audio, then we go back and we remix and master the audio. We re-edit all of the footage and the artists get that video when we're done. Give the way they rob me. Here, musicians of all genres perform for a captive audience of 100 and get a professionally produced video of their performance. Can't be one at carnivals for free. The end result's fairly impressive. The audience gets an intimate show that they say is unlike any other. Magic happens here from the first note, like you just hooked. And it's, it's kind of like electric. You know, everyone in the audience is reacting with you. You can feel that the band is giving it back. It just kind of ignites. And it's just, that happens over and over here. It's our happy place. We've been here, who knows, probably 50 times in the last three years. The Fallout Shelter hosts about six shows a month, run by a small, skilled, part-time staff. All good. We've been working together for so long, and we've done so many shows together, that it's almost kind of a dance. Hurley fell in love with music as a kid and worked in the industry for decades after taking his first job at Atlantic Records in 1984. We're creating something that's, that's making a difference for independent musicians. And that's a big, big important part of it for me. It's also important to Hurley that this unique experience is accessible to a broader audience. I'm in my 60s now. People that are my age, they still want to go out. They still want to see live music. Here, you pull up, you park, you walk in the door, the show starts at 7, you're on your way home at 9.30. You just saw something that you're probably not going to see again. The synergy between the audience, the staff, and the musicians is really what makes it kind of special. We've had musicians that have toured the world that have said, this is my favorite place I've ever played. That interaction between the audience and the performers is such a palpable thing. It's a privilege for me to have this opportunity. I definitely think it's the crowning jewel in my career. I do. Hmm. Extended play sessions has been around for 12 years now, but at first bands used to perform and play to an empty room. Empty room, then they decided to expand and add a live audience, and they think that really actually enhanced mm -hmm. the performances as well. Uh, and then on Thursday nights they do something nice, it's called Listen Local, and it's just acts from around New England who get a chance to perform there, so it's a great mm -hmm. time. As you saw, that's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here on Monday night. Good night, everyone.